negotiation team, which is 12 uh, um, operators. Basically, I'm not going to, we're not, our, our function for response for the RNC is going to be the same as it is with uh, Sergeant Mills. We're subject to call, obviously, uh, 24 hours a day for regular hostage, barricaded subjects, suicidal individuals of that. But our role in the RNC is, as uh, the chief pointed out uh, in some of the uh, videos that Mike showed, the, most of the other agencies used uh, bullhorns. You saw them talking on the little megaphones. It's not very effective. It's not very efficient. It doesn't broadcast sound a long way. Um, technology, what it is, we went to a system called LRAD. It's a long-range acoustical device. Uh, the department purchased five of them. We have four small ones and one big one. Um, we brought one of the small ones here. It's going to be part of the demo today. We'll illustrate its capabilities. But basically what it is, it's an amplified bullhorn. It does have some other options that we may or may not use throughout the event. Hopefully not. You know, obviously what we want to do is promote a peaceful event. We don't ever want, like all the other specialty teams, we'd rather you not see us. We'd rather the thing go off without a hitch and you never get to see the police. Obviously, in a real world, that's not going to happen. Um, for the most part, basically, what we're going to do is when we have unlawful assemblies and when the uh, chief is deemed or, or their designees or the sheriff's designees have designated them as such, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use the LRAD. And it's basically, like I said, it's a, uh, a long range device. I can talk, one of, the, one of the machines, you can talk and hear me having a normal conversation with you like I was next door to you at 2,000 meters. So. <coughs> We're going we're gonna to use one of the smaller ones today that has a capability and a range of about 500 meters. But like the chief said, if we were to play it and play a message, you could hear us singing downtown. So basically all we really want to do is that when we give a lawful order to disperse, we, we don't want anybody to say, I didn't hear it, it wasn't audible, it wasn't clear, I didn't know what you were telling me to do. So just basically when we take enforcement action, when the, when the uh, crowd management group has to engage with people, we just want to protect. We're going to develop probable cause to remove people, and we just want to make sure that obviously it's successful at the back end. We don't want to waste our time in putting somebody in jail and somebody throw it out because they couldn't hear it. We didn't tell them which direction to go, where to go, and whatnot. Um, obviously, we're going to display that today. It's a pretty neat machine. It's mounted on one of the uh, Bobcats that they talked about, one of the assets we have, and it's outside, so you can take a look at it. If you have any more questions about it, I'll be free to answer them after that. Thank you.